Welcome back, everyone, for another uh, fun style of Gloomhaven Guildmaster, followers of Rufus. We're doing our light hearted, less story driven campaign of the Guildmaster. And let's hop on in and see where we're at. Uh, it has been a few days since I have even, even been on. Uh, I tried to get. Uh, one of these filmed every day, but I haven't been able to do that. But let's see. Oh, that's right. We got the Quarter Master. All right. All right. So here is what we have to do. Oh, and we unlocked enhancements. That is correct. Okay. So. Um. Nothing that I want on the enhancements. Um, no, I can just put plus attacks on there. Um, I can do range for 60. That's interesting. All right. So. Um, Why is Swift Bow not in my deck? That was weird. I gotta fix that. I don't need these snacks. That was weird. That was weird. I must have used that for something. Let me check these here. I see blast, okay. I'm good with all those. Um, he does have a major mana potion now. Okay. Alright, let's see what else we can buy this guy. Um, the first thing is. I want to take the eagle eye goggles off the tinkerer and bind them to the scoundrel. Um, is this it? Yes, this is it. So he is going to get a warhammer. Add stun to the entire attack action. And um What do we have here? Get him hide armor, but really he needs boots. Um, who has my other boots striding? Um, the crack heart. There we go. The boots here. I don't have enough for the wing shoes. Okay. So we did a little bit of that. Let's go. Oh, we could do a job. Uh, travel, we probably should do a travel quest. Um, I'm trying to see a quest that would unlock something that I'd be interested in. This is, seems good. The tower shield design, 3 XP. Um, survive. Oh, we have to have the brute for this, really? Okay. That's fine. Oh, 
I forgot this one doesn't read to you. With the brute leading the way, you leave the, the sights and smell of Shalmert behind and head out of the southern gate. As the safety of the walls recede into the distance, you catch glimpses of shapes tracking you in the forest edge to your left. On the second day, the forest spreads to the edge of the coast, and you have no option but to venture inward. As the light starts to fade later in the day, and you set up camp for the night, you are keenly aware that an attack is imminent. Alright, uh, four plus points to kill somebody. Um, yeah, I think that was one that we can do. Um, I don't know if he can kill five or more, but I'd rather do that than short rest. Um, we'll try the experience for her. Um, actually, you know what? I want to try not to loot any gold because it's six XP. Um, because the quartermaster is such a good looter. Um, I'm not using quick hands, so I have throwing knives, but I don't loot with those. Okay, a motley group of Verbling and Inok burst out of the undergrowth. You can hear more in the distance prepare for a large attack. This is a ragtag bunch of enemies. Although there are a lot of them, survive long enough and they'll likely lose heart. Or we will. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Um, guard, normal guard. Uh, an elite guard. Verbally scouts, two regulars and two elites. Okay, so there he is uh, brute here, brute here. What is the brute gonna do? I wanna get air in. Let's leaping cleave and provoking roar. Get him there and he needs to go after, so he'll go open wound. likely kill them for sure and um, swift bow now we need to move all right that'll guarantee kill them all right um aid from the ether and We'll go really late. Um, with that, uh, let's see here. stands here. Oh, that's not going to work. Um, We'll 
use hasten step to move around and see where we want to go. I kind of want to use the quartermaster to defend the spellweaver while we pick everybody off with the brute and the scoundrel. Okay, but he does got to kill five or more people, so hopefully he gets that done. Um, yeah, we're going to go with that. Guess they're going to move for attack for nothing. Right. Um, Root is going to go here. And disarm this one. Okay. Alright. Scoundrel is going to... Three poison you. And then attack this one. Um oh, it's it. Okay, I didn't even get the wounded. Um do I want that card back? I love that card. I really do. Um, now we have other tools in the toolbox. Um, wow, nice times two pull. Good job. Um, I think we're good for right now. decided to just hang out right here and take this shot. Yeah, plus two and I got fire. Alright, lovely. Alright, um it's gonna be real hard to not loot any gold piles. Um She not okay. I'm gonna say she not gain experience. Is there a spawner right there? Okay, that guy just popped in there. Okay, so we got a we got something going on over here. Um, I was gonna use skewer. I'll use shield bash for the initiative and the move. I'm just gonna move right here and stick them this way. Um, let's see if the quartermaster can handle this guy right here. Um, I'd have to move. Doesn't have any control over him, that's the thing. Okay, we're gonna shield up and move to no, listen. I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna use this one. 
Um, I don't, I don't think that they can handle that, um, so, backstab for the movement initiative, and singled out to just wreck it, basically, um, yeah. She needs to go early, uh, preferably earlier than early. Like, okay, this thing's got retaliate one. All right, hopefully that Mystic Ally has nowhere to move. Okay, so we're not gonna go. We're gonna go after six with Flame Strike because we have fire. And reviving ether to move. Right. Okay. Um, Alright. Scoundrel is gonna move to right there. Scoundrel's turn. The brute will move to. Oh, no, 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 no. Undo. Move to right there. And then we'll zoom air and attack these two targets. Two more down. There we go. And the quartermaster is going to use his boots to stand right here. This is what the quartermaster does. This is the exactly what I think of the quartermaster. He's just gonna loot all that gold. That's what he does. Um, I might bring that back later. I'm not sure. Um, and his turn. Um, yep. Okay, two damage. Okay, so the mystic ally was able to not take retaliation damage. Okay, so she has a range of two. One, two, so... Um... Okay, so what we got a shaman now, okay. We got a shaman and a vermling over here. I'm pretty sure the mystic ally can drop that vermin. Um This guy's gonna take a damage. What can the spell we do to Um 
What is fiery orbs three range? to go early um, I'll use fire orbs to just move um, okay so Flanking strike, throwing knives, and venom shiv. Um, I was hoping for two more damage on that, but okay. Actually... Shaman gonna do move to attack them. So yeah, we're gonna have to kill that guy right now. I don't think the scoundrel can do it. I don't think the scoundrel can do it. No, I didn't think so. Good pulse though. Good pulse. And that card would be so awesome if you could put a wound on it. Uh, how is he doing on cards? Um, I want open wound back. Uh, since I'm on target, I'm gonna get open wound. Take open wound back and end his turn. Stun him. Okay, glad I didn't waste that. Um, does he want two cards back? Um, he still has a movement and. Um, yeah, we still got something we can do next round. Um, 
Brute's turn here. Okay, so... So they're gonna attack him in range, or the scoundrel. <coughs> Actually, would this hit? Oh yeah, that does hit both of them. Isn't that fancy? That kind of time steal. Okay, well there goes. There goes worrying about that. Um, I'm gonna fall back a little bit. Okay, so if I have, oh, there's an archer right there. Okay, so um, I'm gonna move and open wound that archer. That's what we're gonna do. Actually. Oh, I need to move a flanking strike to open wound it. Um, yeah, I, I got a bad set of cards, to be honest with you. I shouldn't have taken open wound, I should have taken a different card. Um, Spellweaver, she has two cards left. We're gonna do something with them. He needs a move. <coughs> no, excuse me. Um, Hopefully we can go early. Uh, yeah, that's the earliest she can go. Okay. Okay, so the archers are going 32 and hitting pretty hard. And so is that Enoch's guard. So, okay, so let's... question is do I hit this guy for five or four and wound him uh, that's the question because if I pull a plus two or better he'll die what do I have I still have a times two so I'm more likely to pull a times two than a plus two, which would kill him with the open wound. I love open wound, so I'm gonna do that. Oh, I got the times two, fantastic. Okay, couldn't plan that. Well, that's exactly what I was looking for. So, um, there's an archer over here. What is his? One. One. Well, he's either not going to move past or move. Yeah, he can't get past that scout in one, two, three. Is that his range? Three. No, oh, range one. Okay, don't want to worry about him. This guy is gonna move in and attack the spell weaver. Nothing I can do about that. Um, Alright. Oh, take that damage, that's fine. Okay, nothing I can do about this, but. Um, I'm 
just gonna move. Um, So, he's going to move here, and I guess that really didn't matter for that, so, skip movement, attack, <laughs> times two on a three damage attack on a two health guy, wow, okay, um, that's fine in his turn. Archer is gonna. Okay, that's where I thought it was either here or here. Um, we're gonna move here. And burn. And skip movement, and then we're gonna try this card here. Okay, he wants. Oh, this is yeah. Um, he wants his stamina potion back. I guess she didn't have anything she spent. Okay. Alright. Um, how many cards does he have left? So, yeah, he's good to take a rest. It's pretty clear, so he's going to take a rest. Um, put one move over here. Um, okay, what do we have here? A vermling. Oh, that's the mystic. We got a Vernling Shaman here, okay. So, we have Eye for an Eye and Trample. Okay, at least we can go earlier still. Um, Smoke Bomb is Swift Pull. Do something with that. Long Rest. Long rest. Okay, they're going to be blessing themselves, so that guy needs to die. Um, this is when you need to pull that times two, buddy. So yeah, they're going to get a blessing in their deck. So... Let's pull him anyways. He's not doing an attack. Nice job. Um. <laughs> he 
will be putting a blessing in their deck. So, long rest. Oh, not my loot too. Um, not my moves. Um, I know I just said not a move, but that haste and step is what I'm getting rid of. Thank you, Mr. Galway. Good job. Good job. Um. <coughs> <coughs> Alright. This is a move 8 and a loot. Uh, as much as I want to sit there and loot with her. Um. Ride the Wind won't give me any experience. And I, again, I can get them back. Alright, um... Long rest for air, for Broody Boy here. The Air Burger. Alright, uh... Trample. Long rest, I don't pick the card yet. Uh, long rest. Um, it's the range on fire orbs three. One, two, three. So if she was standing there, she could fire orb those two, but only if she was standing right there. So we'll go very late. Let's see, what is he gonna go? Um, well, he, he can go rather early with a move two and shield. Um, one, two, shield up against him, and then um, attack and muddle him. Right, it's a range. Yeah, they all get one experience. Okay, and I might even stun him just to do that. So, um, I mean, either is she still gonna go in the late? Okay. Okay, alright, so he's gonna move right there, hey look there's some loot there, um, a little bit of a shield, tag three, and sure, stun him. Say he didn't get stunned, but he did. Um, well, that archer is just stuck in the corner. Oh, very nice, very nice. Um, let me see here. Um, can I see her card? No, she doesn't have a dot next to her attack, so you couldn't put wound on it. But that would be insane if she could wound. Um, move there, confirm movement. Skip movement, fire orbs. Oh, I know it's three. Uh, I could have probably moved right there and got that guy too. Um, I just realized that.
Not very nice. Not very nice. Well, that was zero damage, so that's fine. Definitely not cool. I should have made her invisible. Oh. Wow. There's the blessing. It was times two to zero. Wow. Oh, man, I love this easy. Just to have fun. This is just like a really fun experience to test out cards. Uh, trample your god, buddy. Um, uh, long rest. This one is uh, not that. Um, special mixture. Scoundrel's turn. Okay, so nothing popped in here. There's a scout next turn, and we have a shaman. Alright, so... Let's do some leaping cleave. Shield bash to go early. Oh, wait a minute, did a Vermin Scout? Yeah, a Vermin Scout did show up right there. Okay. Um. What was it? Didn't have an attack on the bottom. Um. That's what he's going to do. Um, throwing knives. Or possibly these two. What's the range? Three. So... So he would have to be right there. Um, and I'm Shiv, we'll get him there, and, um, Flame Strike is a range of two, so she needs to actually, oh, that stinks, it's only a range of two, um, she can use Frost Armor to move up, alright, let's go with that. Um, okay, so the Shaman Elite is going to try to heal people, but hopefully he doesn't make that. Um, so I was going to move here, right? Yeah. Okay. And we're going to skip a minute. Um, okay, the bird plus two on that one. Okay, that's fine. Okay, be that way. Um, since I got all these little vermlings over here in this archer. I'm going to take back Throwing Knives. Um, throwing Knives. Um, in Scoundrel's turn. Um, he's just going to move to right here. 
Skip number it. Beeping cleave. Nope. Those two targets. Okay. Um. Jack Spell Weaver. Uh, our Mystic Ally, I should say. Um, yeah, nothing's in range of that at the moment. Um. Understand why you don't get XP for this attack. That seems like an odd thing not to get XP for. Um, what are, no, they're not gonna attack her. Okay, so this guy's turn, and I wasted cards for him because I should have did the loot like I wanted to. He'll heal himself for the XP. Um, what does he have in his discard? Okay, he does have the loot card. Maybe we'll go up and get some of that loot this, this next round. That times two, still a little bit too damage. Okay, um, a lot of archer build up. Peeling spear, um, not oversized pack. Leaving axe, um, icy blast, and mana bolt, mana bolt to go early. Icy blast these guys right here. Provoking roar will probably kill them. And fatal advance just to move. Um, throwing knives. throwing knives. Range three. Get on the throwing knives. Um, I'll go late. That's fine, I'll go late. to be attacked by anything. Um, okay, she has to take a long rest, so she will go invisible.
two damage. Wow. A quartermaster's turn is. Um, one, two, three. So he's just gonna right here, and we'll go ahead and skip the movement. We'll go ahead and make this attack. We got one damage. It sounds about right. And what does he have left for cards? Just the loot card. He will take two cards back because I want him to do something here. Um, well, first of all, I need a move for. here um, I'm going to use the ability of singled out and then I'm going to swift bow there we go he's dead okay scoundrel is doing some stuff alright that's going to be it for that the verblings are going to go Wow, that was... what? Attacking for four and poisoned? Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that was a little more than I bargained for. Um, let's go eye for an eye and skewer for this attack here. Scoundrel is going to smoke bomb and flanking strike going super early. Every card he has is early. Um, one, two, three, right? Range three, one, two, pull next to my ally and kill it. Um, Oh, Mystic Ally should handle some of that stuff. She needs a long rest. Um, he is going to go at 52 and do that. Okay, so they are all going soups early. Alright, so let's pull this guy to there, right? Yep, to there. Wow, negative two there. 
This guy is going to be slimy and move. Yeah, he doesn't even need to use his boots. Move right there. And loot all that. Was that 14 gold? Fantastic. Okay. Okay, so I have to burn a card. Um, backstab it is. Lovely. Oh, I took out my mystic ally. Oh. Well, actually, that's actually okay. Because I'm going to burn. Um, I'm going to burn Flame Strike. Okay. Now, we got kind of. We got to survive this round. So. Um. Spare dagger to go early, and then sweeping blow to maybe clear this guy right here has got to go early with throwing knives. An open wound to probably get to a safe place. She needs to mana bolt for the heal. And probably frost armor for the bottom. Um She cannot burn this bottom action. Um, maybe she'll move. Yeah, she cannot burn that card because she needs to have two cards. This is why I need her to have a, a major stamina potion, or at least a minor. Um, this guy is um, going to short rest. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, he's going to attack with that and just move. Okay. Spellweaver is going to heal up the scoundrel. A bit of a poison. Um, and let's just go ahead and get back all the burn cards now. so I don't have to worry about her exhausting um, that's an archer this is going to move two so one two this is going to move. I'm not worried about this. I need to take care of this guy. He is in range. What about this one? Okay. I think I can throw a knife. This one. And this one. Of course, that, that, no, 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 waypoint. Um, that would have, no, this way, that way, no, no, this, 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 this. Just get in that back corner. Still can hit him. Um, okay, so yeah. 
There we go. I don't prevent any archer from hitting him now. I don't think it would have hit him in the first place, but I'd just like to get rid of that worry. Okay, this guy's gonna heal up everybody probably. Yep. Yeah. Groot is going to Resting enough that's only an attack of one. That is a attack of two and you mobilize. Pushing for the for the fun of it. Hey, look, it was a three damage strap. Fantastic. All right. Um, oh, I moved so to attack me. Oh well. This is the last of it, anyways. I think. Actually got in range with a miss. Okay. Okay, another one down. Get ah. two. That'll work. That, that's it. We did it. We survived. As another enemy falls, the remaining adversaries turn tail and flee. Their morale broken. You consider giving chase, but the forest is too dense, and getting lost is a definite possibility. Alright, so, scoundrel, 57 damage, wow. Um, XP, scoundrel, item, scoundrel, uh, quartermaster, okay, so we got one, two, and then we got this one here. This one, this one. Okay, let's see what we got. We got some tower shield design and some XP. Well, this is it. We've gotten to the southwestern tip of the realm, and now I have access to the armorers that give South Shield its name. I'm sure he's going to sell me some stuff he got for free. Oh, the scoundrel leveled up. Isn't that fantastic? This guy doesn't seem to get a lot of XP. I mean, it just seems like like that. Let's see what we got here. So, 11 locations, another enhancement slot. Continue. We've reached the coast. The first part of the realm reconnected. I've also been contacted by some outposts in the eastern forest. We should start looking there for work too, okay? I'll add that to the next set of achievements to attain. Okay, and then we have Deadly Marksman, which is a relic. It looks like you've been using range attacks pretty effectively, and I tracked down the location of a relic that might help you be even stronger. I've heard that a group of cultists have been recruiting banded archers and are trying to magically enhance clothing to improve their ranged attacks. Certainly sounds like it's worth checking out. I'll mark it on your map. Okay. Alright, we've unlocked this. So if you don't want any spoilers, um, I've never played with this character, so I may uh, be trying it out in the next episode, but we will check it out today. So, Summoner. I do like 
like a summoner. So, interesting. Collecting parts of a wide number of enemies have brought a summoner to our guild. She is now available to add via the character menu. I do like summons, so that's... And then we got a bunch of stuff that we can unlock with her. It's an Aster, so I think it's like a mystic. Okay, um, meat shield. Okay, we got it. All right, and then we got some, I don't know. Oh, I'm using the wrong display capture. We got five gold from that. Okay. Four steps. Okay. Let's see what the merchant has. The assuming he has the tower shield for forty. We only have 50. Man, all that gold that Quartermaster looted, and we only have 53 gold. Wow. Okay. All right. I see how it is. We looted all that gold. Um, let's level up the Scoundrel. Okay, so we got Hidden Daggers, which is a possibility. We also take Flintlock for the last. And Duels to Manage. Move three, attack three, uh, two, you know, taking this card because Jaguar plays did something with it, and I want to do the same thing with it to basically break the scoundrel. So, thank you, Jaguar plays, for this. His link is in the description and does excellent videos. A lot of spoilers, so be careful on that. Um, let's see, how much would it be to put... Oh, see, I haven't unlocked Strength in yet, so... Eventually, I'm going to put Strength in here. Okay. So, I haven't, um, unlocked that. Um, I don't even have any money. So, uh, let's go back to this and spend my perk point. Um... I guess we'll remove this last negative and then we'll start doing this yeah so we'll remove that and then now we'll start um, replacing zeros with twos with the the type of build I want to play with the Scoundrel, uh, rolling modifiers other than these plus ones, I believe would be a detriment uh, to the way I want to play. Because if you have advantage a lot of the times, and you pull a rolling modifier in the, you know, the null, you end up taking the null. So, yeah. So let's go to cards. Uh, we're going to take out special mixture and put in hidden daggers. Um, gives me another late card. Uh, I want to like this card. I really do. Um... Okay, so let's let's go to here and let's take a look at this character, the summoner. So we got Ford's Fios Ferocity, um, Summon Iron Beast, uh, five health, two movement, one attack. It's got a tet retaliate and shield one. The bottom of it infuses earth and affects self and also an allies of a shield of one. Wild animation. Uh, summon thorn shooter. Um, range of four. 
Only a movement of one. It does poison. Two health. A move five. Infusing air is nice. A uh, living knight summon two shadow wolves. They have attack two, pierce two, health of three, and it summons two of them. All targets attacking you and all your summons gain disadvantage this round. Um, ooh, we cover up to four of your burn cards. On the bottom, summon Lava Golem. Wow, movement of two, attack of three, infuses fire. It's got retaliate, range two, and it wounds. And that is like, that's a tough call, right? What do you, what what do you permanently burn? Do you get four of your burn cards back, or do you summon that lava golem? That is wow. That is um. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I don't know. That's uh, something that is a tough call. These are my first time seeing these cards, by the way. I never unlocked this character in the board game, and I never opened the package. I have a few characters like that. Um, wow. Uh, interesting. So then we got to heal three, uh, and then force... One enemy within range four to perform a move one with you controlling the actions. Mighty Bond, one adjacent summon ally performs a move plus zero and attack plus zero. I don't. It might be something that enhances that later. Um, bonded might. What am I getting wrong? Is it like it does its own move plus zero and its own attack plus zero? Is that what I'm getting from these two? Um, one's a loot and then this one is attack. I like this wound. Two targets. Wounding two targets and it's not a burn. I just need fire. Okay. Leathery wings is a giant bat. Um, volatile flames. Um, Um, okay, first of all, uh, Ethereal Vines I would take, and possibly, actually I'd possibly take, not that one, um, this to get the fire in, like, wounding two targets, does she have another way of bringing in fire? other than the golem. No, so you would have to take this. Uh, um, I like the idea of having two shadow wolves with the peers. Getting rid of that 96 for a 30 initiative. Um, I think it's pretty good because I got rid of this. Um, I still have a heal. Heal range three. 
Yeah, this is a 24. Alright, so... Um, you know, I can try other cards. I, I don't feel this one is useful. Um, this is interesting. Like, if you summon... So let's just say burn four cards, right? So, um, one... Two, three. So, one, two. So, currently, uh, cover up to four burnt cards. So I'm, I'm assuming that like this isn't great early on the bottom action and maybe using the top action is the way to go early on because if I if I had all four summons that would be four burn cards and I could recover all the summons with this card but I'm not going to use some of these summons so um, we will try her out in the next scenario. I do also like that this gives you six experience when you summon that lava golem. Um, move two is kind of slow, but you can up that move. And it does introduce fire for that wound attack of two to wound people. So this is just a wound party. Seven hit points, that's no joke. So, um... I'm just curious here, real quick, unending dominance. How much for a summon move? 100 to make it a move of three. 50 to give it another HP, 100 to make it move one more. Okay, because a move three on that would be really, really good. Um, The fact that this summons two wolves that have pierced, that's pretty good. Uh, um, how much is this to make it target three? Hundred and you can target three people with this wound ability at range five. Wow, that's incredible. I mean, it doesn't even have to connect just to wound three targets for a hundred gold. Um, this is pretty interesting here. Um, plus heal, plus move, plus attack. See, I haven't unlocked a lot of those. Let's let's look at the trainer real quick and. So, what I really want to unlock is this right here, and I haven't used Bless at all. I don't have a Blesser. Um, is there one for Add Stun? Disarm. Okay, I guess I have it. Okay, there might not be a stun one. I might be confused on that. Maybe I'm thinking disarm so they can't attack you. But imagine wounding and disarming them. Like, that's pretty awesome. So, 
we'll see how much more of these that we have to do to get these unlocked so um got a scoundrel level three uh bring it in the summoner I'm gonna keep the quartermaster for getting that gold i somehow thought he looted more than what oh we're gonna have to buy i think i bought gear with the last person let's um Um, do we have mana potions? We do. So if need be, she can bring in her own fire. Um, do we have another cloak of invisibility? We do. I like these type of people to be able to go invisible. Um, let's see what we have here. Nothing I think I need a summoner to have. Maybe a little life. Not particularly. She doesn't do enough ranged attacks to need eagle eye goggles. Um, um, let me see something here. Uh, leg items. Okay. Uh, the scoundrel would like some winged shoes. Alright. Um, yeah, the scoundrel would like so many shoes. Okay, so again, we're out of money again, so I guess the quartermaster did. Alright, now we're going to legitimately start saving up money. So this is the, the team we're going to use um, in the next episode. Um, I'd like to thank you all for watching, sticking through to the end. Um, I hope you found it enjoyable. Um, I could go get some money. Um... I have to have the Tinkerer for that. Uh, I could fight some undead and get some money uh, with these people. I could do some of the Brutes quest and get them a perk point. Um, the Baron Coast, I would have to unlock more. Um, what does this unlock? That unlocks Shade Rest. And this one unlocks. Nope, that was that one. Fairy Tales unlocks Demon Spire Hollow. Uh, I don't know if I want to fight those. So, we're probably going to do some more travel quests because I like to do those, get those out of the way, and then do some more of the side mission y type of things. That's going to do it uh, for this, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And have yourself a fantastical day.